we're going to do our favorite loot route for 12.11 with the dynamic loot changes and things like that okay so this isn't a super ideal spawn for this loot route okay but what we're gonna try to do is go from here hit some stashes on the way right through the idea office um or okay so this is where you have the choice right because this is supposed to be a low contested raid right like a, a solid run to do if you don't have much money if you don't really want to pvp you'd rather just make money instead um you have the choice you could go into idea which is a little bit more riskier right but also has a little bit more reward you could potentially get um get better loot and idea but it's also more likely to run into players so you just take that as you will so you go to idea if you want or go to power station right there's also two more sashes i know of right here and right there Sashes. Obviously, this is offline, so the loot's gonna be a little different than it would be in an online raid, but generally, we're looking at the same kind of spawns and things like that. This wouldn't be my go to go loadout for like an online raid doing this route, but I had it laying around, so. It's not like there's gonna be PvP because we're offline. I would typically run like an MDR, a Mutant, um, M4, whatever gun you like. AK-103 is really good for the budget. Hustons, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, the TTS doesn't get transferred to YouTube though. All right, so like GPU spawns, Tetris, things like that you can spawn right here. Light bulbs, whatever. Pick up legit everything, dude. Legit, just every well, not everything, but like almost everything. You'll learn the prices of things as you do this route more and just the more you play. And you'll know what's worth picking up and what you'll eventually drop, things like that. More GPU spawns all around here. Be careful of player spawn back here, pushing the same way. Lion spawn right here, nothing. I like to go through the back of idea. crate right here I like to loot and this is where you have the option you can loot power station and you could literally take the car and leave right quick no risk really not going to run into many players if you do you're probably gonna have to jump on them when they're down there it'll be an easy kill or what I like to do is to go back through here to Goshen I'll loot the back of Goshen, and I will um, even loop into Ollie, maybe, depending on the loot that I get in Goshen, right? I don't really like to go into power. It's just like, I don't know, too much. There's some sashes down there. It's, it's It could be good loot, but it's not really my go-to when I do this. Phelps, thank you for the prime, man. It's good, Agent, dude. I hope all is well as well, my friend. The duffel bags are still kind of bugged on interchange. They say close. You have to close them and then reopen them. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. When I'm doing this run, I don't hit Ultra Med, I don't hit Kibba, I don't hit the safe room, I don't hit anything like that. It's just too contested. And the loot is not worth the risk, in my opinion, right now. If you're trying, if your goal is to make money. So like, that's good loot, we pick up all that stuff. Fires are okay. Well, this is something we'll end up dropping if we find better stuff. We'll pick it up for now. Tool set's pretty bad. I'm not even going to waste my time. There's a toolbox right here. Yeah, Ultra's more about the PvP than the loot. Exactly. Hello, Fraid. Try to close this stuff. Gonna be a weapon case right here. And a junk. You can get good stims and stuff on this table as well. There's a weapon case right there. I lose sometimes.
Yeah, you could go inside the back of idea. You can also find rigs here too. You could go inside the back of idea. I don't personally because it takes too much time for the amount of loot in there, I think. And there's going to be better loot in like Goshen and Ali or up though. But you could go through the back of idea instead of outside of it. This is just personally what I do. You can definitely modify the the good thing about this loot run is you can modify a little bit so much just kind of like work with what you're comfortable with and where you think you find better loot, you know. But like idea, the idea of the loot run is like typically just this whole back area, right? And then even the back of Ollie, it's just less contested and the loot's just like better than the inside of the mall, I think. And you're not really getting shot from random places. So all these shelves are good, right? This back here is solid, thermite, uh, the TP100 stuff, propane is decent. Another toolbox here. Next wipe's going to be for a while. I think you have plenty of time in our walls. I, I don't think there's a problem getting into it again right now. I think we have plenty of time until the next wipe. Nippers I usually ignore. It's not super worth it. It's good, Labyrinth. How are you, man? Alright, so then we will... Look, nade case back here. Ammo case as well. This is the ammo case. The nade case on the other side. Look, BP, it's like 50k you just made. In one slot, you can put that in your gamma or whatever. Nipper vendor for like 4 or 5k. Yeah, they're okay. They're not my favorite. Another TP200. Fuse, decent loot. None of the stuff you're finding is going to be like as valuable as a GPU during, during doing this kind of like run or raid or whatever, right? But the whole point is you're filling your bag. Look, you got a weapon case here, a weapon case here, and then another one in the crate. There's just three free weapon cases. Nobody's really going to fight you over this stuff. Just because I don't pick up the, the nippers doesn't mean that you guys shouldn't. If you like to do the CMS trade or you want to sell them or whatever. Feel free, dude. You are more than welcome to loot whatever you want when you do this. So what you can do, right? If you're um, if you're juiced up from this, if you get better loot than I did, or you're happy with this, right? And you want to get out? Go to Emercom, you know. I'm not gonna fight that scav. But if you're not content with what you just got, I like to run this way through the back of Ollie here. This table sometimes spawns decent stuff. I like to check it. There's also crates that way, but I don't usually go that way. I go this way. You can even loot these rooms and hit the PCs and things like that that spawn down here on like some of the some of the desks. I usually don't though. I run this way. That's probably the safer thing to do. But I like to run this way. There's a toolbox here you can check. And then this is when the loot gets pretty good, I think. This is the best the best part of the loot run, I think. All these shelves can spawn filter absorbers, it can spawn tubes, um, filters. You have to just kind of get like a weird angle and then aim up and you can grab stuff off the shelves. Some of the stuff it spawns like up there is obviously impossible to get without a boost. But if you have a duo, this is also a good duo loot run I think. Especially if you have a friend this could be uh, really solid. There's enough loot to go around I feel like. Look, propane, the thermostats are good, double propane there is really good. All of these shelves are, are very solid loot. I might be missing a certain shelf you guys like to loot, which is completely fine. I just, I'm kind of showing you generally where stuff spawns, right? The Keck tape's good. Really the blue filters are some of the best things you can find when you're doing this. There's another toolbox right here that you can loot. And then back here, I think is my favorite spot of Ollie to loot. Like screws are pretty bad. I don't usually pick those up. But down here, on the um, on the on the floor, of these wooden shelves. Of course, now that I'm making a video this way, there's gonna be nothing. But usually, I find tons of blue filters, tons of like uh, helixes, things like that that are just decent to pick up. And this shelf right here can be good. I can't tell what it is. It's bolts. That's kind of tough to pick up. Oxaram's good. So all the stuff back here, even these like half shelves can spawn things. There's um, two PCs here. 
Looks like 30k, which are very solid. I, I, I suck, I'm whipping. <laughs> and even the shelves up here, although they're more risky, sometimes you get shot from the mall or like Killa even spawns over here sometimes. These shelves are more risky, they do also spawn things. It all just depends like, okay, so this is generally where the loot is, right? But it all just depends on the risk that you want to take. So obviously stick to the back end of the wall. You can get fuel and stuff if you want to be a little safer. Or maybe don't even go into Ollie at all. Just do like half the loot run and get out. Or do the whole thing and kind of risk it and get like a full juice bag. You can even, even bring like rigs in your bag to hold more loot. If you want to go in super geared, maybe you have a duo and you guys want to like secure everything. But like overall, that would be the loot run that I suggest. Obviously I'm offline, so I'm just going to leave. But that is the solid loot run, in my opinion, in 12.11, guys.